Hello, I'm Josh, a technical account manager here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today I'm going to show you how to make sure that you stop accruing Amazon Simple Storage service charges after deleting all files from a bucket. Let's get started. Here are some settings that you can check to minimize your S3 charges. Turn off logging for any S3 buckets before deleting them. Otherwise, logs might be immediately written to your bucket after you delete your bucket's objects. Delete any file versions in S3 buckets that use versioning because they are backups of S3 objects. Cancel any incomplete multi-part upload requests. Delete empty S3 buckets that you don't need. After going through these settings listed here, let's start by turning off logging for any S3 buckets. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the S3 Console. In the Buckets list, choose the name of the bucket that you want to turn off logging for. Choose the Properties tab. Now scroll down until you see the Server Access Logging section and make sure that it says Disabled. If it does not, choose Edit. Next, select Disable and Save Changes. Keep in mind that even though server access logging is the most common setting that causes unexpected charges, there are other services that log files to S3. So if you're running other services for logging, you must go through these steps to turn off logging for those services as well. Now let's suspend versioning. While we're still in the Properties tab, we see Bucket Versioning towards the top. Let's go ahead and choose Edit. Next, select Suspend. Acknowledge and save changes. Doing this does suspend the versioning for all newly uploaded objects, but will not change the versioning status of the existing objects, so you will have to delete those the same way you deleted the original objects. One common hidden gem are the incomplete multi part uploads. One of the easiest ways to remove them is to navigate to the Management tab and create a lifecycle rule. Enter the name, choose Apply to All Objects, and then acknowledge the request. Under Lifecycle Rule Actions, select Delete Expired Objects Delete Markers or Incomplete Multipart Uploads. Then, select the Delete Incomplete Multipart Uploads and the number of days. When you're ready, create the rule. Now, if a bucket is empty and no longer needed, you can delete the bucket entirely by navigating back to the bucket list. Select the radio button next to the bucket you wish to delete, then choose Delete at the top right. You must confirm this action, because deleting a bucket cannot be undone. Confirm your action by entering the name of the bucket into the input field, then choose Delete. Note that the bucket must be completely empty, or the request to delete the bucket won't go through. And although an empty bucket itself does not cost anything to you, the S3 console performs a list action when it loads initially, and this action might lead to charges. Just keep this in mind when deciding to delete an empty bucket or not. And now you know how to make sure that you stop accruing Amazon Simple Storage service charges after deleting all files from a bucket. Thanks for watching! And happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.